one of you guys go with him. And just, if something comes up, you got to shoot. And one guy stays here with Sonny, and we're gonna watch this right here. Did you see him hop? Yeah. Come yeah. up and hop and then he's looking. He's standing right here and he went about 25 yards and he's right up into that sage, right, right up here. Got a clean, clean kill on her on him. It's nice, exciting. And there's a couple other coyotes back there. We just couldn't bring them in. But Eric's been doing this for years and he has good experience of bringing them in and it was a good time. Only on Upland Adventures Television. Good job. That one jumped off to our right, weren't ready for it. He spotted it, did a good spot and uh, retrieval, and he does great. So, we're, we're just gotten into the birds. They are on top, even with all the snow, but they're in these rims. So, we're going to keep pushing forward. We're into them. When you get in the chucker at this point in time, you need to keep on them. So, we're going to keep heading up along this rim here on the uh, south slope side. We'll be back in a minute with more Upland Adventure Television. in eastern Oregon and tell us where we're going to hunt right now Tim. Well we're getting ready to head up these hills behind us here. We're going to get up high this time of year. We generally like to start on top and, and maybe work down once we locate the birds. They should be up on the tops eating on some uh, some of the green up. So uh, should be good. This time of the day are they up? Are they coming down for water or what's the deal? Uh, these birds this time of year um, don't have to come down for water. There's a lot of water in their food. There's water trapped up there um, in a lot of the different rock crevices. And um, so, you know, they, they tend to feed a little more and, and nap a little more. Um, but uh, we'll, we'll see if we can't figure it out. What are you shooting? This is a Benelli M1. It's a 20 gauge. Uh, I went to it here a year or two ago for the, the fact that it's light. Right. You know, I'm carrying less weight goes in at around five pounds and then the shells are you know a lot less weight too. Oh, yeah definitely. So well good deal. You wanna go get some birds? Let's do it. Alright. Alright. <laughs>
Hey, don't go away. We'll be right back with more Upland Adventures Television. Hey, Sonny, do you hear that? I don't hear anything. Exactly. You don't hear anything. As you know, you get, you get people up here, and it's not about the birds and how many birds you shoot. It's about the sun rises and the sun sets and everything in between. Um, the dog work physical challenge that you know you put yourself through it's just a beautiful place people rush through this country on the highways and they take it all for granted they don't you know they, they think it's desolate and it looks that way at a distance but you get up here and you smell the sage and you see sunrises like we're about to have here this morning it's just a beautiful place it's what I come out here for oh big time I'm there with you you know people don't see this too often it's a great place. It's worth working your butt off, hunting those steep canyons and shell yeah. side hills. And it is. Well, I guess we're just gonna have to go do that. Today, we're gonna do good today. All right, let's tear them up. <laughs> All right. Lord Jesus, we praise you and thank you for this day. We ask for a safe, fun time uh, and blessings on Tim and his family, Lord, and for us just to have good fellowship and good dog work and. Just a beautiful day, Lord. We ask this in your name, Jesus. Amen. Amen. All right. That's your old nice job. We got it. He's birdie. He just went out of sight. No. Here he comes. out that and on out to our farthest hunt, but that's a long jaunt. I don't know that we want to do that before lunch. You know, you'd get the point, you'd get a lot of dead time, and then all of a sudden, You guys hear that? Hey, thanks for watching Upland Adventures Television. That's a quick glimpse of what the season's all about, so stay tuned for next week as we hunt the Steens Mountains, a two-part series for chucker and quail. Exciting times, good quality action, beautiful territory. So make sure you come back next week and join us, hunt with us this season, Upland Adventures Television. Thanks, guys. We want to welcome our new sponsors, Martin Bows, the most accurate bow in the world. Danner Boots, don't hunt without them. 